Hello everyone, welcome to HBN InfoTech Tutorials. In this tutorial, I'll show you how to create an image slider with thumbnail using Smart Slider 3. Now let us have a look at the slider that we are going to create. You can see that the slider has a thumbnail and uh, you can just switch to the other slide by clicking on the arrows or simply clicking on the thumbnails at the bottom. Before we jump into this tutorial, I would like you to subscribe my channel. If you like this video, you can share with your friends and never forget to like this video. First, log in to your WordPress dashboard. Go to plugins. Click on add new. Then search for Smart Slider 3 Now click on the Install Now button Smart Slider 3 is one of the best slider plugins for WordPress website You can know more about Smart Slider 3 from the link in the description below Then click on the activate. Once after the installation is done, you can just scroll down and go to smart slider and click on dashboard. So initially it shows this uh, message, you can just click on go to the dashboard. So here you can either use the templates or create from scratch. For this tutorial I am going to start with a new project, so I, I will just click on the new project button. So here it says create a new project from scratch or using a template. What you can do is you can just click on the create a new project. And then here again you have some options like uh, the project type whether it is a slider or uh, a carousel or something else. But the carousel options are available with the pro version. So for this tutorial we are limited with the free stuff. So I'll just select the first option that is slider and the simple one I'll just click create and further if you want you are concerned about the width and the height you can change here change that here. So now for this project what I would like to do is I would like to create um, full width or let us test both let me select boxed um, I'll just click on the create button. So here you can see some options like uh, the, uh, you have the options to add the slide and you have the project options like the general settings, size, controls, animations and other stuff. We'll just look back in a moment. Okay before you add the slide I would like you to do some settings. Now say for example. Uh, for the general I'll just leave the defaults I'll just click on the size for the size also I think this is enough okay let it be boxed okay I'm not doing any changes here I'll just go to the controls and here you can choose the arrows type whether this one or this one and uh, I'll, I would like to turn on the thumbnails so this is what uh, I am concerned about so thumbnails 
and the shadow for the thumbnail so these two I would like to just turn on now I'll just go to the animations animations I'll just leave the defaults auto play again I'll just leave for the defaults optimize loading I think rest of us I'll just uh, leave it for the defaults then now I'll just click on the add slide so what kind of slide would you like to add so if it is an image you can just click on the image slide if it is a blank one you can click on the blank one so for this uh, project I would like to select the blank one so a blank slide is created so once the slide is created what you can do is you can click on the edit button to go inside so okay it requires you to save so let us save the settings as well I'll just click on the save now I'll just click on the edit button so this takes you inside the slide so now uh, let us add the image so to add an image you can just click on the image button over here so here is where you can just select the image so to add the image just click on this plus button click on select files now I'll just start adding the image See, I have already cropped the image as per my uh, size and dimensions that I wanted so you can crop the image using some image editors like game or Photoshop so I have already done it so I have inserted the image here now below this image I would like to add a heading so I'll just click on this heading so the heading has appeared but it's not visible we have to change the color so I'll just click on this and then go to the styles I'll just change the color that I want so I want this color and uh, let's say I want some text below the heading so again I'll just click on the heading here so I'll just change the color of this so let me add some dummy text for this to add a dummy text you might go to lipsum.com You, you can just simply make a double click here or you can just click on this content tab then alter the text that you want let me reduce the size for this one I'll just reduce the size Okay, this should look nice okay now we are done with the first slide I'll just click on the save so now I'll just come back and now what I can do is I can just uh, repeat the procedure so I can just click on add slide and do the same thing or else I can just uh, duplicate the existing slide because I want the same font settings for the other slides too so then I can simply click on the edit I can change the image I can just simply switch the image I'll just click on the plus button again and then upload the other 
image okay like this and then click the save button come back repeat the process duplicate edit click on the image it directly takes you to the image settings so uh, you can notice one thing so one once you click on these items here it directly takes you to the corresponding settings here on the properties panel so now I'll just uh, click on this image and switch the other image duplicate again sorry duplicate edit click on the image upload just two more images save come back duplicate edit Okay, I guess uh, we, we are done with all the six slides. I wanted six, six slides in total. So now let us move on to the next step. Okay, now let us uh, move on to the next step. This step is very important. So what I would like to do is I would like to set the th thumbnail for each of these slides. So to do that you can just simply click on edit for each one of this. Then see as I told you uh, if you click on a particular item here the relevant properties appears here. So now this time we have to switch to the slide properties. So how do we do that? So we have to click on the slide so that is this portion i'll just click on the you know edge here uh, now this brings the slide properties so then click on the content now scroll down you can see the option called thumbnail just click on the plus sign here and choose the thumbnail image so once you do that you should be able to see the thumbnail here below so i'll just click on the save now go back let us do it again i'll just click on edit click on the slide area that is this content then click on thumbnail Choose the thumbnail and save. I'll do it, do it for the rest of the slides. So 
so as you do this you can notice the thumbnails appearing at the bottom here click save go back continue the process This is the last one. See, you make sure that you are clicking on the edge exactly here. So, if you click some other portion of the slide, it just simply selects the other, it shows the other settings. So, you will have to click on the edge exactly like this. So, then click on the content then the thumbnail now click on the save so I think uh, now I am done with the thumbnail part now let us add this to a post or a page and see how our slider looks like to add this slider to a post or a page you can just scroll down go to the general tab and here we can find the short code just copy this now I'll just uh, create a page I'll just click on the add new So let us type a name for the page let us say this page so now I'll just click on this uh, add block so if you find the smart slider 3 you can just straight away click on this Now it says select the slider, just click on select slider and choose the slider and then click on insert. The other way is you can just copy the, I mean paste the copied short code. That was the other way. So now I'll just hit the publish button and see how this looks. Okay, I'll just click on the view page check how this looks so as expected so this slider has a thumbnail preview here I hope that you have learned how to create a slider with thumbnail using Smart Slider 3. You can learn more about Smart Slider 3 from the link in the description below.